Okay, so hello, my name is Hanwin Oshimai. I am a rising junior from Lutheran High School of Orange, and this is my application. It is called Chat for Seniors. It is a, um, uh, a intellect, intelligent chat box, a chatbot communication system for depression relief using artificial intelligence and natural language processing. So this is basically a content overview of uh, what I will be presenting today. Uh, you got the pro problems, the major problems that I want to solve, uh, my introduction, uh, application prototypes, testing procedures, uh, results, conclusions, and future improvements and work that could be done to the application to improve both user experience and um, user, just basically general user uh, usage. Okay, so basically my problem and context uh, is to help relief or reduce loneliness and depression seen in seniors through online communication with young adults. So I have definitely suffered many losses in my life during uh, my time as a uh, middle schooler. I have had uh, many friends who suffer from depression and loneliness. And uh, I've even had a friend who committed suicide because he um, couldn't, uh, how is, he didn't relate to anyone. And uh, he, he suffered loneliness from his family, both from his family and from uh, other people, such as in school. He was a bright person. Um, I think he was definitely uh, helpable. You know, um, some people say, you know, like they, some people just can't be helped. They don't want to be, want to be helped. And uh, they, they won't allow you to help, help them. But like, you know, it's always helpable. Anyone is helpable and you always got to find a way to help them. To, like any way possible, you know, to save a life. That's what I, uh, I believe in. So, lone, uh, but this application is purely focused on the older generation because uh, loneliness and depression is definitely seen more in the older generation. It might not be um, talked, talked a lot about because, uh, you know, we, we don't really talk about the older generation anymore, but it is definitely seen into, in the older generation. Um, so as people, you know, get older, they definitely, uh, their brain definitely slows, gets slowed down and they definitely need to another, a more, uh, more way to express themselves through, uh, their thoughts and what they like. And, uh, as us, the newer generation, um, get older, you know, we don't have a lot of time to talk with them and, um, it really causes a problem for them to express their thoughts. And that's why this application can help them with their thoughts and what they want to express through what they want to say. Um, so many communication apps with the strangers exist, but um, my plan is to create a safe and secure environment where it's purely for seniors and teens or young adults to interact with. Um, basically what I'm saying is, uh, this app is basically just purely for uh, seniors and teens. Uh, it's not an application where you can mess around with. It's more like a like a one on one communication where you can just find common interest between the two person. And um, I really want to help out both generation so they can relate each other, relate to each other, and not be so uh, how do I say it? how to how to not not be so. Um, distance from each other you know because right now us newer generation definitely got social media um definitely a lot of other things that could impact us to not talk to the older generation okay so my introduction um this application is made with flutter it's uh, basically a coding software made by google uh, I used Android Studios to proceed with the coding, and uh, it's what I used to code everything. I also used um, Dart, which is a coding language similar to Java, to create this application. So this application is purely based 
on a server storage server called Fire, Firebase. And it is what runs the application in the background and gets all the user data information and can um, basically make the messages that each user sent to another user to be sent through successfully. Uh, it's basically, it just runs the app, what runs the app. So some unique, what I would call unique, some are unique, some not unique application functions uh, is that there are, there is a login and sign up with personal email. That's, that's what you can, it can be any kind of email, Gmail, Yelp mail, Hotmail, anything is possible. Um, a texting based communication messaging is uh, basically any other apps you've used, uh, Discord, WeChat, uh, iMessage, Instagram messaging, uh, Snapchat with messaging. It, it, it's, just, it's very similar to those application. Uh, that's what the texting based communication messaging means. Um, this is the first unique function, uh, application function that I have, which is uh, the random strangers finder, which helps find random users on the application. Basically, there's a, um, if you can see the model here, uh, there is a plus button on the upper right hand corner. And it basically, as soon as the user presses it, uh, the, the plus, it basically lets them have a find a random user that they currently don't have in their contact list uh, and they can chat with them. They can actually, uh, actually um, accept or deny uh, the match found. Okay. Uh, this app is also published into Google Apps and can be digitally installed by many uh, the users. So prototype and plan. Um, uh, basically, this is my general plan of how I wanted to approach this project. And um, I like to make things simple, even though um, this app isn't that simple to make, but uh, I like to make my basic planning and visual feature of the application uh, uh, visually appealing and simple to look at, uh, not to like clutter and stuff. So basically, the user can log into their existing account or make a new account on the uh, login screen, and which will directly, after them logging in, get them into the home screen where they can see uh, other users' their message and uh, the chat history. Um, let me see. Uh, so basically, after you've gotten to the home screen, which is which is, uh, this is basically a home screen right here. Uh, you can basically see like the other contacts with message. And um, what I've, during my prototype, I've actually made the home screen more advanced than it is now, but uh, I did not have time to make all this uh, features and application uh, functions, which is why I made a simple contact list you can see right here. But uh, the the, the home screen that I used to, that I planned and what I thought of would be good for this app is uh, having common interest groups where you can click on them and find people, other people who have actually who've also clicked on that interest group and talk about um, uh, their related interests. And uh, yeah, but I did, like I said, I did not have time to add this, but this would definitely in the be in the future works and what, what could improve this app and uh but yeah okay um this app also allows the random okay so the random search feature is another it's just the feature i just talked about i think it's very unique and not a lot, a lot of communication apps have this future feature and definitely allows uh, users to chat with other users and not just uh, uh people in their own friend group which, which definitely solves a part of my problem, which is loneliness and how uh, people need to talk to other people and just express themselves to uh, what they think and what they uh, want to say, you know? Okay. So testing procedures, basically, um, what I did was basically I used a, I used, um, 
sample users, which uh, I registered all of them into a free account, which they can talk to each other. And um, what I did was that uh, I first, my fir I did two testings. First, I did uh, a testing with my close friends and relatives. Uh, I did about 20 people. And I just basically gave them application and show them how to use the app. And uh, I actually shared a bit of information about the app and said uh, how the app could be helpful. Uh, but that's what I did for the first experiment. Um, for the second experiment, I actually used, uh, reached out to many, many um, strangers that I found online and uh, let get them to download the app on Google and uh, show them how to use like I did in the first experiment and uh, tell them how to communicate with their friends. So basically they can uh, use out the features and talk to the people other people on the application. Um, so basically what this testing, what I found through this testing procedures is that uh, some people didn't really uh, like the idea of the random search finder, mainly because um, I think it is, uh, I, think, I think, like I said, the problem is just that like, a lot of people just don't really like to share with strangers, like talk to strangers. They're very insecure about themselves. And um, that's really where I want to like solve, you know, it's like get people to open up and talk to other people they relate to. But that's the, that's the only problem that I have had uh, feedbacks, which uh, I was showing you in the other screen, but um, that's what I really got from people uh, saying that that's the only problem they don't like using that. Okay, so user feedback, basically this this first um, chart here is basically my first experiment that I did with my um, personal friends and family. And uh, basically uh, you can see that a lot of people did find it helpful. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it could be biased based on that because they're, they're my friends and family, but um, that's, that's what I evaluated out of 20 people and uh, what they thought of the app and how helpful or not helpful it is. Okay, if you look at the second chart right here, uh, this is um, a more accurate, I would say, uh, result and a display of how the app is helpful or not. Um, this is uh, basically, it basically finds what out of uh, people what they think of the app of the strangers, not the close relatives. And um, many of people also said it's not that helpful, but some people, you know, about 33% of people did find it really helpful, which definitely I call a success. And what I think definitely is the purpose of my app is to help just anyone that who wants to, who, who needs help and to, who, who really just needs to express themselves. And, um, you know, I've helped just 30%, 33% is, uh, is enough for me. And this is what I think um, the app is general use is for, for a small amount of people who, who, who really do need help and uh, express themselves. Um, so my conclusions of this application and future improvements and works could be to make this uh, project and app visuals to look more appealing, visually appealing, and uh, adding more features such as a personalizable profile and bio, where a place where you can customize your maybe your um, profile screen, your uh, profile pictures, your bi biography, where you can uh, actually uh, show what you what you like and common interest. Similar, similarly to the, to my original prototype, where it's like the interest groups, except it's like a a profile screen with uh, different bios and interests where you can, uh, after find uh, after the random search pops up, it could display all the bio and uh, other common interests. Uh, I also wanted to improve a place where people can post and reply to a thread that is also, uh, so basically something like Quora or Reddit or, or where people can uh, 
post a thread that they they're, they're, they're like finding a problem they have a problem and you can have like other uh, commenters comment their thoughts on the problem and how they can share their own thoughts and solve the problem that's what i uh what i think could be really helpful in the future um a calling communication using camera and voice audio is also a very big step ahead this is actually probably um what i would start working on first because since it might take a lot of time to do and um basically what this will help do is basically uh help people to get more engaged with each, with each other and not just um through texting and uh typing messaging each other you can actually uh call using voice and facetime audio which is uh which is very good which i think it's very good um i think similar application have this like omegle i don't know if you know omegle but it's like a online stranger communication using voice and audio and it, i think it could be uh it, it was a very big inspiration to this up, update of this app is a uh, once i found out that it was a application a website actually called omegle i wanted to implement that kind of random search using camera voice audio thing into my application as well but uh, i would definitely make it more secure and private because uh, omegle is not that private you'll probably see very disturbing and inappropriate things on there um which i am not trying to uh make in my application my application i want to make the user experience as good as possible uh which is why i would probably make it more secure so that people can talk about um you can use their uh use it safely yeah that's my presentation thank you